Hello Captains, this is Metaman. Today we're in a Tier 10 battle. We are in a Tier 8 destroyer. And this video is going to be about how to still be aggressive as bottom tier. And things that I try to do from bottom tier. I think that Tier 8 is a really good um, spot to be. As in even battleships, cruisers, destroyers as in to be able to still deal with tier 10. Um, people complain, other captains complain about it, but I really think the gap between tier 8 destroyers and tier 10 destroyers is a lot less than tier 6 destroyers dealing with tier 8 because of speed, concealment, firepower, um, blast damage as in your uh, being able to, your torps here I try to get to my location early um, if you watch my videos you know I get a lot of blind fire hits with my torpedoes I am gonna make a video about how to use RPF I know it's a pretty simple system as in telling me the direction but there's a lot of tips and tricks that you can use that I use that help me get easy kills or to mask my location even when they have RPF. Here, So right off the bat, as an aggressive DD player, I'm going to go towards the cap. I'm throwing my torps out there. I'm not going to run right into cap because there is radar, there is DDs that have better concealment than me, but I am going to go contest, and if it, they're going to give it to me free, I'll take it. I knew there was a DD in here. The, red, or the cap started getting filled. I was going to go contest and throw out some torps and see if I can get lucky. Here I started running in this direction just because those torps, but I am going to start heading around the side as in this DD's are, our DD's already in the cap. I don't need to go get in cap also, he's going to be able to cap it. But things to do as bottom tier, here here right off the bat I'm gonna go ahead and try to throw some more torps keep this guy spotted but things to do is bottom tier is things I look at as I'm trying to cap I'm trying to find a higher tier ship than myself and delete them get rid of them and I'll feel like even if I get one cap and delete one ship that's higher tiered than me I was a positive outcome for my team because I took a lower tier ship and took out a higher tier ship I wanted to start talking about this battle right here. You notice I'm spotted. It's not the cruiser that spots me, so I'm going to disengage because I do not want his friends to help him. That's a that's a sap throwing son of a gun that's in that smoke. I'm not wanting him to hit me because that those ships hurt. I worry more about that than HE. But you notice I disengage. I go over by my battleships. I'm going to tell the battleship, "Hey, there's a guy over there." And he's going to start turning out. But it's really too late already. The the battleship, not saying he did wrong at all. I'm saying that um, they're unwieldy, unwieldy and hard to uh, be able to get out of that location. And this smart DD player is going to delete them. But I know that he's not within my uh, spotting distance. I'm showing the location. I'm looking at the team map or team list so that I can figure out who's over here. I'm going to get over by my other battleship player, which is a higher tier than me. He's a tier 10, I believe it's the Thunderer. I know where the DD's uh, general direction is. I'm not racing towards him right away. You notice that I'm waiting, and the reason for that. First, I'm going to avoid my battleship, but I'm trying to isolate him. Uh, this battle is a good battle with this uh, DD player. You notice uh, I'm trying to get in front of our battleship so that I can spot the, D or spot the torps, but I did not race after him. I'm waiting for his teammates to get farther away so that I can isolate him so that he doesn't have multiple uh, sap throwers or HE throwers to be able to hit at me. 
Now I'm going to start, you see where the RPF is, I'm going to start heading off to hit the right of the RPF so that I can isolate him even more. I don't want him to have a chance to get away. So that's the reason I'm heading off to my right. Now I'm spotted. I'm racing towards him. He's racing towards me. I know I'm going to be able to spot him in a second. Notice this is where it's instead of checkers, it's chess. He does a good job not firing. I'm not going to fire. He he probably hoped I'd fire so that his teammates, somebody could spot me and he could start uh, punishing me while in his smoke. He's smart enough not to sit in his smoke. He knows that I'm either going to rush his smoke or I'm going to uh, throw torps in there myself. And then here we go again, even another step farther. Here I'm going to start turning away. Now that I have him within distance that he can't escape, I'm going to start turning away so that he cannot get away with torping me. So this battle, if you want to rewind it and look at this little battle, there was a lot of thinking going into this battle. He smoked. He didn't fire. I didn't fire. He kept moving. He did not sit in his smoke. I turned away so that he could not torp me. There's uh, one of the name, a really big name uh, DD player, or, uh, YouTuber I had a really good battle with. It wasn't really that good a battle. I chased him down. I was in my Marceau. He was in a gearing. I knew I'd get, win the gunfight. It had nothing to do with the name. Um, but I got a little glossy-eyed because he was one of the uh, players that I definitely looked up to as being a top-notch player. I had the better ship for that battle environment that I set him up for. Get him in a gunfight when I had a Marceau. He had a gearing. I kill him. But I got a little too glossy-eyed, starry-eyed, and got a little too close, and he, after he died, he torped me. So, he died, he torped me, he, to me, that was a win on his part, because I already had him isolated, I had him killed, and he got the torps into me because I did not turn away like I did against the Shimakaze. And that Shimakaze was from a good clan, this one right here. Um, he played well, he was stuck in a bad spot. I got him within distance. I, I created the situation I wanted. I ki killed a tier 10 while I'm in the tier 8. And he played well. I played well. It was a chess match, not checkers. Here we have another tier 10. He's up in the cap. They're losing the battle, obviously. But notice I'm not going around the side way out in the open. I'm going to be getting staying close to the islands until it's too late for this uh, player. There's nothing he's doing wrong. The game is pretty much lost for them right now. They'd have to have a heck of a game to come back. But staying close, staying fast. This player actually does well also. Usually I only have to do one torp run and I, I got the person killed. But by the way he's turning he did a good job. I didn't get to delete him in that one turn. But with this destroyer, I have a third set on the other side. And he does a good job here. He's turning away. And it also changes the, the location of uh, where I could be able to torp. So he does a pretty good job here. But things you want to do in a lower tier, we're going to say aggressive DD player. Things that you're wanting to do is you're wanting to press towards cap. Try to get the cap if you can. If they don't want to give it to you because they have better concealment DDs or a bunch of radar. You don't want a YOLO in there. When I say aggressive, I'm not a YOLO. I get more kills than I'm dying, trust me. I don't even have to trust me. You can look at my kills per battle. But things you're wanting to do is you're wanting to press towards the caps. You're wanting to isolate DDs, and if you're in a, an aggressive style DD, as in good guns, you're wanting to isolate a higher tier DD to be able to kill them. You're wanting to isolate ships that are near islands so that you can delete them also. Here I'm not firing while I'm next to this uh, cruiser. These ships ahead of me are really low health, there's no reason for me to try to steal the kill. After I see this cruiser that's next to me is about to die, I'm going to go ahead and fire, but I was trying to let him finish off that kill himself. And I'm going to go ahead and get this kill. But things you want to do is that aggressive DD player. Head towards those caps. You're wanting to get in them if nobody's going to fight you for them. 
you're wanting to isolate DDs when you get a chance and you know you're wanting to kill ships that are higher tier than you um, that's where the XP is you're gonna see I'm gonna lead the XP board here it's gonna be a good uh, score not up to 2500 but still pretty good 25 it's not 2500 XP but we're 24 little not quite 24 and a half XP but kill those uh, DDs that are higher tier than you it doesn't matter that they're higher tier than you if you have better guns than they do you want to hunt them down and kill them before they do their damage and look towards those caps but don't be the victim be aggressive so this is meta Ma meta underscore man 2002 please subscribe if you haven't already if you like the aggressive play style and we'll see you next time